with people. It's Rob Lee. I want to do a video for you today called The Great Reset, The Hidden Agenda. Are there people who follow and support The Great Reset while screaming against it? Yes, they do. Many people have made videos and garnered many, many views about The Great Reset. However, almost all of these are complete lies with a few grains of truth mixed in to make it edible. Let me show you something today. The Architects of the Great Reset, also called Build Back Better, is clearly laying out the agenda for the future and this last mile. But what is at the heart of the great lie and changes of the past few years? What is at the heart of the past 50 years of all these changes that have turned our society unknowable right before our eyes? We don't know our society anymore. The synagogue of Satan and its New World Order cohorts knew they must act jointly and swiftly to re revamp, totally redo, reset all aspects of our societies, our economies, and our education from social contracts to working conditions. Everything, everything had to change. They had to reset it. They had to make it more along the lines of their agenda for this last push. Every country from the United States to China had to participate. Every industry from oil and gas to tech, they must be transformed. In short, what they desired is a, gra a last change, a great change for this last battle, or what they deem it the Great Reset. Now this Great Reset embraces such mottos as you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. Does this sound familiar? Oh, it should, because this is Communism 101. This is socialized medicine on our shores. And this was predicted in 1920 in the Hebrew magazine in New York City. They said that what has worked so well in Russia will work here in the United States. Folks just weren't paying attention. And the few people that were paying attention, nobody listened to them. Now, this is an evil that most cannot comprehend, even when they think they do. However, this was planned not 75 years ago, not a couple hundred years ago. This was planned thousands of years ago. Yes, thousands. Now, before we go further, maybe we can take a minute and understand the entities driving this great change, as in the corporations. Okay, corporations, because that's what you have here. The Bible refers to them as what they're called the great merchants, as in merchandise, okay? As control of commerce, communism, okay? We have two words here. We have a corpse, a C-O-R-P-S-E, as in a dead body. And we have a corp, a corpse, C-O-R-P-S, as in a body of people. The word corporation comes from the Latin term corpus, meaning body, as in corpse, a dead body. Now, when you put these two words together, what you have is a, is, it's called a corp, okay? And now, this, they may have a little bit varying uh, degrees of difference, but they mean the same thing. It means a body or group. Now, the word ration, by definition, is a fixed allowance of provisions, goods, or food, as in merchandise. Therefore, corporations, the, the, the body that rations out the goods, that's what they are. They ration out the, good, the goods to you. They determine how much goods are available and what the goods are going to cost. Okay? This is a corporation. This is, this is the, the driving head of what we call communism, but there's something deeper, the heart of it. What's the heart of it? They want you subservient. They want you to be a slave. This is Communism 101 is in control of all commerce and people living in controlled communes. A commune. This is where the word communism actually comes from, is the word commune. And that's why you see in the past 50 years the huddling, the pushing of the masses to flock together, to live together in controlled environments, in cities, towns, huge apartments. They want to push everybody together the way you do on cattle drive. You want to keep those cattle together. They're easier to control. Now, as we go further, what I want to explain to you is that they're not, when, when in the Bible, when they're called the great merchants of the earth, they're not called great because they're good. They're, they're called great because they have a lot of power, okay, because they control the flow of goods. 
And through their money and through their usury, they have taken control of going back in the old days to uh, newspapers, radio, TV, the internet, and what we have now, modern media. So they can control the flow of information to push their agenda. Now, communism, uh, when it first started out, it actually controlled as much as half of the earth at, at varying times, and right now it controls the entire earth. Okay, we, we most notably know about the travesty in Russia from 1917 until 1992, which, which leads us to the question is, how are the people today able to be lured into this web when they know that communism exists, and many of these people know of the crimes committed by the communists? Now, we need to say a word uh, before we go further about something that, that one of their biggest tools, Hollywood, the movie, in, the movie industry, which was to morph into television, okay, a television program, because that's what it is, it's a mental program, was created by five Polish Jews. Now, the moving picture was created by a Frenchman named Rume. However, he never got the money and he really never got the credit. The five Polish Jews, with the backing of the largest banks in Europe and New York City, they went to England and Hollywood, California to start what's called the motion picture industry. Now, this industry has morphed into the entire media complex that we have today, including the Internet. I reference this because it is central to understanding the Great Reset. The Great Reset in Western culture, folks, actually began in, in the mind, okay? There were experiments in 1929 and 30 with what, what we know as the Great Depression. There was no shortage of goods, folks. There was plenty of good, goods to go around. There was, in fact, during the Great Depression, most folks don't realize there was actually a surplus, a surplus, okay, of food, okay? There was no money. There was no jobs, okay? Now, they did the same thing almost about at the exact same time over in the, the Ukraine. They were, they were starving the people to death. They burnt down the barns as children were needing food. This is who these monsters truly are, okay? But in using the Internet and in using modern TV, they have turned the people into tabloid watchers, tabloid readers, tabloid searchers, yes, tabloids. Americans have become a bunch of raving mad tabloid readers. You see, the tabloids not only extend to your supermarket check it, uh, checkout line, no man, but to all forms of media. What do you think television is? What do you think TV shows are? What do you think your Hollywood movies are? What do you think your videos on, most of the videos on BitChute or Rumble, what do you think they are? They're tabloids, man. That's what they are. Americans have been raped and stolen from, and yet they sit, watch, and search out answers from the same monsters who have lied, butchered, raped, and stolen from them. Think about that. Americans love the tabloids. They love them. Now, is this how the modern communists control the masses? Well, it's not hard when the people walk around with their communist-controlled information meter and monitor attached to their hand 24-7. You know, that thing called a cell phone that people eat and sleep with. And it just so happens to be made in communist-controlled China. Now, am I saying China is the head of, of this beast? Not even hard, not even close. But you do see how it's made where? In a communist-controlled country because everything is communism now. You have different types of people with different op opinions on the tyranny in this nation. And the internet just makes this worse because, you, you see, the lie is like a ping pong ball. It goes back and forth, back and forth, and nobody ever thinks to put the truth in, into the game. And the people that do, the enemy immediately tries to silence them. The Federal Reserve, which is nothing federal about it, has declared war on the dollar since its, its corrupt inception in 1913. In fact, every single chairman of the Fed has been a blood child of, of the serpent seed. This is fact. They have raised the price of gas, food, homes, cars, and all merchandise and supplies from your power bill to your water bill. Our societies have become giant cesspools of, of lies, violence, filth, and deceit. 
The very air that we breathe is filled with poisons. The water, the beverages, and food are filled with fluoride, rat poison, nuclear waste product, man. This is what they put in the food and water. And most people cannot accept this stark reality. And chemicals and more are dropped above the masses daily. Only they cannot or do not care about it because they cannot remove their communist monitoring device from their hands. You know, their smartphones. You see, folks don't look up. Folks just look down. Folks just look down. They, they look at their little cell phone. It is their communist monitoring device. It is their communist meter. And it's their badge, and they carry it about. Many folks have a fantasy that an alien race or a politician is going to save them and make life better. Some folks banter back and forth on the internet about a revolution and being prepared for what they deem as shit hitting the fan, while others sit idly by not knowing what to do or what to think. And this is important to note. The subject of thinking rationally is gone. The masses have lost all reason and critical thinking skills. Others actively engage in supporting the communists, though they have taken to calling them the chosen of God. I shake my head at the mass delusion, and yes, it is a delusion in, in the masses that is unparalleled. Now, unless you are blind, you know that shit has already hit the fan. In all this, very few people ever ask the three most important questions. Why is this happening? Who is behind it all? What can we, or I, as an individual, do about it? Therefore, the answer for all of these groups is to keep searching the cell phone, their communist device, for answers from the same communist agents that have enslaved them. Fascinating how this works, is it not? However, what is the root? What is the heart of the Great Reset? What is the heart of communism? What is the heartbeat of it? It has to have a heart. If everything that we've looked at, our hands, fingers, arms, and legs, what is the heart of it? People use words like communism and socialism, build back better, but what's, 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 at, what's at the center of it? You see, in days gone past, they used other names thousands of years ago, but it's, all, it's always been the same. When you look to the heart, when you pull the mask back, it has always, now and then, it's always been atheism. It's always been the Antichrist spirit. It's always been the anti-God movement. The communist belief is nothing more than hate of the God, God the Father, Jesus the Christ, and the true Holy Scriptures. It's nothing more than their hatred for God's family here on earth. It's not complicated. This is the root of this demonic agenda. They must belittle God and move the people away from God. Everything they do is related in one way or another. It all comes back to the Antichrist agenda. This is why we have the blatant lies about dinosaurs, space, universes, galaxies, solar systems, and planets. This is why you're told that you came from sludge, evolution, you walked out of Africa. It's all huge lies. That are, repeating, that are repeated ad nauseum to willing recipients who sit and watch these monsters tell them lie after lie about the most important matters in their lives and they never question a damn thing. These gross lies are taught nonstop in schools, churches, and especially, especially on the internet and television. They are to belittle your Father and Jesus Christ and to belittle you because you are attached to them. Folks, this is why we have this massive movement to promote the alien agenda and the UFO craze. Do you not find it, did you not find it odd that in the middle of the so-called Great Reset, mainstream media started to cover the UFO craze for the first time, even promoting it? Didn't you find it odd that Tucker Carlson in July was doing a five-week, excuse me, a five-day series about it at the same time that CBS and ABC was also doing a, a a series about it don't you see don't you see what's going on here this is about this is about many deceptions woven into one one giant riddle it's about evil going all in and making a final play for complete control this is about uniting the people behind the greatest lie in the history of mankind i said yes uniting the people
People that may differ, that say we're, we're anti this, we're anti that, they will bring them together and get them to, they will galvanize them behind the biggest lie in the history of mankind. It's bigger, folks, than atheism and just and UFOs. These are just the created symptoms of the disease. What causes the disease and how many are going to have it? It's the greatest lie in the history of mankind. And God allows it. They say God does not exist. Jesus does not exist. And that our Father's word is invalid and corrupt. Or you know what? Father could not preserve 700 pages of text. And Almighty God could not preserve, could not preserve 700 pages of text. They believe this shit. And we who love our Father, we who love Jesus Christ and the Holy Word, we're going to be called liars. We're going to be called the great enemies of this depraved world and the godless antichrist people who follow this beast. Now, I ask you, how many people do you see in society, the Internet, the people, the television watchers, and the people who moan, scream, and complain about how bad things are? How many of these people are anti-Jesus? Folks, almost all of them. Now, let me take even further. They are no different from the communists. Let me tell you something. The pinnacle of this life, the top of the mountain in this life, it's not about money. It's not about success. It's not about your physical appearance. It's about, do you have a real relationship with your creator, your father through Jesus Christ? If you got that, man, you're at the top of the mountain. If you do not have that or do not desire that, you are the enemy of God. You are the outcast of God. Don't be fooled by these lies of it's socialism versus capitalism or it's left versus right, or blue versus red. It's Jesus versus those who hate Jesus. This is incredibly important for you to know and remember. Everything is a ruse. Sure, groups fight amongst themselves all the time, but in the end, it will come down to one question, one belief, one heart. And in that reveals your future and who you are. Are you a lover of Jesus Christ, man? Or are you Antichrist? Because in the end, that's what it's going to come down to. Now, let me say something about communism and atheism and religions, because some will argue that atheism and the communist movement are against all religions. This is not true. Modern communism is not anti-Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, or any other false belief that you can come up with. They are anti-Jesus. They are anti the true teachings teachings from our Father, they, they damn well know Jesus is the truth. In the Bible, why do you think the evil spirits that possess people threw themselves down on the ground and were scared to death of Jesus? They know the truth. Sad that many of the bullshitters on BitChute and YouTube, and especially these, who I can't stand these hideous Nazi people and these, these Hitler types, man, these CI people, they don't know the truth. But these devils do. It tells you a whole lot about what's really going on in this world. All other religions are lies created by demons, demonic entities going back thousands of years, including the great whore of Catholicism. To illustrate how bad it really is, please take this to heart and consider if you would ever see this with Allah, uh, uh, the, whoever this Allah is, the Babylonian moon god, or if you would ever see this with uh, uh, Muhammad or Krishna or Kali or Shiva or Odin or Thor, or any of these made up bullshit. I watched a video seven or eight years ago from a guy showing an episode of The Simpsons. Now in this video clip, the character Bart Simpson pulled out an Uzi and walked over to the nativity scene and he leaned over in the cradle of hate where the infant Jesus lay, and he shot him numerous times and said, die, die, die. There was no outcry. The masses did not storm Hollywood and protest and, and or riot in the streets as they should have. They said and did nothing because they did not give a damn. Can you imagine how many people laughed and thought it was amusing that little Bart Simpson was killing the infant Jesus Christ and screaming, die, die, die. The children of the serpent who wrote and, produ and produced uh, that TV program knew they could get away with it. Friends, the enemy knows this is a godless nation. 
That's why they're able to do this stuff, man, because they know the masses are godless. They have no faith. They have no love for God. And God has turned his head toward almost all of them except a few little pockets here and there, individuals here and there who are loyal to the end. When you deny Jesus, you are giving the evil of this, of this world authority over your mind, spirit, and body. You are saying, come on in, and believe me, they're going to do just that. There will be no limits on the hell they will inflict on the people when they tell them to come on in. Good people, this is exactly what the, mass, the masses have, have, have asked for in this nation. They've told evil, come on in. And evil has said, we will accommodate you. In fact, we will make it so hard on you, there will come a day you will beg us to stop. But you best not beg God, because you've already denied God. God ain't going to help you. God allows this, and in some cases, hear me, he instigates it. Yes, he instigates it. I know some of you may not like hearing that, but it's the truth. Let me read something to you before we close here. Revelation 2.10 Right after it talks about the synagogue of Satan and the false Jews, fake Jews, it says this in Revelation 2.10, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tri tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. A crown of life. Revelation 3.11 says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast. Which thou hast, which thou hast, that no man take thy crown, your crown. The crown of life, the only thing you should ever be selfish with in this life is your love for Jesus and what he gives you. You must be willing to fight and die for your beliefs. You must be willing to fight and die for your King Jesus. Jesus said he gave us a crown of life and he said, let no man take it from you. In 311, he said, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou have that no man take thy crown because they want to take your crown right now and throughout history when our father had us face such adversaries how did we fight and win from the beginning of the bible to the end how did god's family fight evil through god to face such evil powers you have to have real power yourself or you will be rolled right over now where do we get this power from we get it from god in no place else Every gift and attribute you have, God gave you, and he will give you more for these last days if you will ask him in faith. This is why we've preached so much lately about praying. Praying, man. you got to ask for it, and then you have to expect it, and then you got to be willing to use it. If we do right by God the Father and Jesus, we can be certain for sure they will always do right by us in ways that we cannot measure. Because in the end, my love for my Father and Jesus is so big that I would rather be last in the family of Jesus than first in the family of the damn devil.